Hello and welcome to the 69th annual Alfred Korzybski Memorial Lecture. Well done. My name is Lance Strait. I'm the president of the Institute of General Semantics, and I want to welcome all of you who are here with us at the Players Club tonight. I hope you're enjoying your dinner. Are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it sure is good to be able to gather together in person, even under the current challenging circumstances. And I also want to welcome those of you who are watching these proceedings via our live stream. We hope that the gods of technology will favor us with a clear picture and a strong, uninterrupted signal. Now, as you know, the Alfred Korzybski Memorial Lecture and Dinner and the Science, Sanity, and Semantic Environment Symposium are sponsored by the Institute of General Semantics. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who are IGS members for contributing to our organization. I also want to urge you to renew your membership at the end of the year and ask you to spread the word about the Institute encourage others to join. And if you're not already a member, then please join us. Membership in the IGS entitles you to a subscription to our journal, etc., a review of general semantics edited by Tom Gencarelli. That alone is worth the cost of your dues. It also grants you exclusive access to our annual Korzybski lecture, dinner, and symposium. That alone is worth the cost of your dues. And we'll be adding some new events and membership exclusives in the coming months, and they alone will be worth the cost of your dues. We also offer substantial discounts on the books we publish. We'll be publishing a number of new works in the near future and bringing some old ones back in print. Uh, and I should add that the IGS is a 501c3 corporation, so anything above and beyond a regular membership and all additional donations are tax deductible and much appreciated. Yeah. I want to acknowledge my fellow IGS officers, our Vice President, Corey Anton. Our secretary, Ava Berger. And our treasurer, Jackie Ruddick. And as many of you know, I was elected president of the Institute less than a year ago. And I want to express, thank you. I want to express my gratitude to our past president who served in that role for 13 years, Marty Levinson. Now, Marty is unable to join us in person tonight, but he is with us in spirit, and I am sure that he is watching over us tonight. On the live stream, of course. Yeah. Not up in heaven or anything like that. Yeah. Everyone say, hi, Marty. Hi, Marty. Hey. The AKML is co-sponsored by our good friends at the New York Society for General Semantics. Yeah, I won't hurt you to applaud, come on. And the Media Ecology Association. I want to take this opportunity also to thank the other members of the organizing committee for tonight, Tom Gencarelli, Mike Plu, hey, Terry. Terry Manzella, Jackie Ruddig, and our IGS intern, Hannah Barnes. I want to express our gratitude to everyone whose assistance and contributions have made to this event possible, including Ruth Anasu and the staff here at The Players, all of our waiters and bartenders. <laughs> 
Also, thank you to IGS webmaster Ben Houck. Our, our, our art director, Dom Heffer, who created the postcards that we're distributing here for the first time ever. And thank you to all of our volunteers from Manhattan College staffing the tables and operating the cameras. And the chair of the communication department at Manhattan College, Michael Grabowski. Thank you also to Deborah Barco and the communication department at Grand Valley State University. And also my own department of communication and media studies at Fordham University. Alfred Korzybski published his magnum opus, Science and Sanity, an introduction to non-Aristotelian systems and general semantics in 1933. And he founded the Institute of General Semantics in 1938. In 1942, a group of his students started the Society for General Semantics, later renamed the International Society for General Semantics. And they began the publication of the journal, et cetera, edited at first by S.I. Hayakawa, later on by Neil Postman. In 2004, the IGS and the ISGS merged so that we represent the legacy of both organizations. And with that in mind, we note with sadness the passing of Paul Denethorne Johnston less than two months ago. Paul was a former executive director of the ISGS, a former editor of etc., as well as a talented writer, artist, and general semanticist. In recognition of his many contributions, the IGS Board of Trustees has dedicated this year's AKML and Symposium to his memory. Now, tonight's lecture was established after the death of Alfred Korzybski in 1950, as many of you know, Korzybski was a Polish nobleman born in 1879 and trained as an engineer. He came to America after being wounded while serving in the Russian army during the First World War. And it was here that he wrote his first book a century ago. The title was Manhood for Humanity, but a more contemporary title would be People Grow the Hell Up. <laughs> And it was a reaction to all of the self-inflicted wounds that humanity suffers from, especially war and violence, but also poverty and prejudice, inequality and discrimination, oppression, and authoritarianism. A dozen years later, he introduced general semantics in the hopes of alleviating our ills, both societal and personal. Korzybski noted, that when engineers want to build a bridge, they have no problem communicating with one another, no problem in assessing what's required, no problem in determining the facts of the situation, no problem in cooperating with one another, no problem in getting the job done. And so he asked, why can't peace be as easy to build as a bridge? In more contemporary terms, we can ask, if we can fly a helicopter on Mars, then back here on Earth, why can't we eliminate racism and anti-Semitism and Islamophobia and sexism and homophobia? If scientists can come to a consensus about the reality of climate change and how it's caused by human activity, why can't our leaders come to an agreement about what to do about it? If medical research can miraculously develop a safe and effective vaccine for COVID-19 in a matter of months, why are so many people unwilling to accept it? And this is not to say that we can, do, we can reduce everything to technical problems to be solved by technical solutions, but we know that it's difficult, if not impossible, to deal with our difficulties when we're not open to fact-checking and reality testing when we're lacking in critical thinking and clarity of expression, when our semantic environment is so thoroughly polluted by what Neil Postman termed crazy talk and stupid talk. 
So I want to invoke Alfred Korzybski's progressive vision of a century ago that we can match the unquestionable progress we've made in science and technology with progress in human relations. That we can and must find ways to further the human potential to grow and evolve individually and collectively. Korzybski's concept of time bonding underscores our unique capacity for the preservation and conservation of knowledge, as well as our radical ability to identify error, correct our mistakes, change our thought and behavior. And the concept of time binding emphasizes the fact that we can and must do better, that we can and must make things better, that we can and must become better than we are. As Christine Nystrom put it, symbols are the genes of culture. And Korzybski understood that it's our capacity for symbolic communication, our use of language, that distinguishes the human species and makes time binding possible. He emphasized a holistic ecological approach, viewing the organism as a whole in its environment and understanding that our relationship to our environment encompasses the biophysical, the neurological, the linguistic, and the semantic. And he was concerned with developing pragmatic solutions to improve our ability to assess and evaluate our environment and ourselves. The goal could be styled as sanity or simply as education. Others have contributed to these efforts and I invite you all to learn more about general semantics and to participate in its growth and evolution. If you are interested in language and symbols, in communication and perception, in art and creative expression, in writing and research, in science and technology, in media and time binding, in consciousness and human potential, in education and psychology, in persuasion and propaganda, in politics and economics, in society and culture, in listening and leadership, in critical thinking and philosophy, in progress and the future, in knowledge and epistemology, in thought and in action, etc. then you have a place here with us. This is an exciting time for the Institute of General Semantics and we want you all to be a part of it. We have a great legacy, so much to offer, so much to share, and we have an important mission to help to make the world saner than it is, smarter than it is, more ethical than it is, more just and more peaceful than it is. But we need you to join in these efforts to contribute to the continued growth and evolution of general semantics and to help humanity to grow the hell up before it's too late. Thank you. <laughs>